Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Electra and Ivy Hope for the Future is once again on the chopping block. Talk to Eric about the jewelry line. Editors have independently selected all of the goods and services that are listed. On the other hand, Soaps.com might get paid a commission for orders made through its retail links, and the retailer might get some data that can be audited for bookkeeping purposes. Hope encourages Carter to pursue his business plan in Forrester's design office. Ridge will listen, she is certain. Carter claims that listening alone won't be enough. He must understand that his plan is revolutionary. Hope enjoys watching him get so aroused. Carter expresses to her how much having her support means to him. Hope assures him, I have faith in you. Carter continues by saying that he has a serious issue with Steffi's unwillingness to listen to his suggestions and hear Ivy out. Carter genuinely cares about the firm even though Hope believes she doesn't want her line to be successful. He wants to cultivate it, and Ridge should be informed of that. You're friends with Ridge. Speak with him. She's certain he'll pay attention. Carter, this is your time. Steffi confides in Ridge in the main office that she has major doubts about Carter's judgment. Ridge surmises that he's pushing Hope's line, which is the reason. According to Steffi, the consumers are abandoning it because they no longer trust them. Then, she informs Ridge that Ivy was present. Carter hopes to revitalize the jewelry collection in order to support the Hope for the Future campaign. Ridge wants to know Steffi's thoughts on the matter. In response, Steffi says, I said no. Eric embraces Ivy when they arrive at the Forrester mansion and reprimands her for being absent for so long. Telling Electra that her grandfather would be extremely proud of the young lady she has grown into, he turns to face her. He gives her a hug. How long are they staying? Eric wonders. Ivy informs him that although she is there to revive the jewelry brand, she does not believe it would be possible. Frowning, Eric asks, why not? Steffi, Ivy says. Zend informs will that inspiration may come at the most unexpected moments in a room filled with dresses and shoes at Forrester. Will is amazed that he skipped a concert for this, and he shows him a sketch. Zend informs Will that the modes are enamored with him and considers presenting the sketch to Hope in order to get suggestions for accessories. Will talks about meeting a girl yesterday who expressed interest in working on a jewelry line. Forrester doesn't have a jewelry line, Zend informs Will. Perhaps he misheard. I'm going to assume she was cute. Will claims he noticed her. Her name is asked by Zend. Will says, Electra, grinning. While Eric informs Ivy and Electra that Donna is detained in traffic and should be there shortly, they are looking through family photo albums at the Forrester house. Electra informs him that she has been following Ivy and Steffi's careers since she was a young child and that she loves jewels and fashion. It's in her DNA, so Eric isn't shocked. That Ivy hasn't gotten in touch with Quinn saddens him. Ivy intends to use the lessons she learned from her to build the line and restore its previous level of success. If only Steffi shared my sentiments. Ridge, in the main office, is amazed that Electra and Ivy are in town. They talk about redesigning the jewelry collection. Steffi believes they already have too many resources. According to Ridge, the jewelry line was a success. Quinn was in control at the time, according to Steffi, and she was experienced. Although it would be risky at the moment, she likes the notion of reviving the brand and happens to think Ivy is quite skilled. Carter will not agree, according to Ridge. Already, Steffi is worried about Carter and his battle for Hope's line. It gives her the impression that something else is happening. Carter tells Hope in the design office that his goals go well beyond Ivy and the jewelry business. He had previously visited Ridge and Steffi, but they refused to listen. They're risk-averse, Hope muses. They're keeping them back, Carter thinks. Don't let them, Carter, says Hope. He's polite, but perhaps he's being too generous in this situation. He can convene a meeting because he is the COO. She is confident that people would view him as a leader who has a clear vision for the company's future. 
Zend informs Will in the staging room that he has never heard of an employee named Electra. He says Steffi wants to meet him in the CEO office as his phone rings. As Zend leaves, Will remembers literally bumping into Electra. Eric tells Ivy and Electra he'll talk to Steffi at the Forrester Mansion because he's excited about the prospect of reviving the jewelry line. Ivy does not want her to believe that they have outstripped her. She is reassured by Eric that Steffi and Ridge are looking out for Forrester's best interests. Carter believes they should pay attention if he believes this is a good idea. Ivy expresses gratitude to Eric for his help. Electra exclaims that she would adore collaborating with his Aunt Ivy. After finding out that they are staying at a hotel, Eric demands that they do so. He is aware of his brother's pride in the two of them, and they will undoubtedly remain at the Forrester residence. Ivy gives him a hug. Zend is informed by Steffi and Ridge in the main office that the purchaser's news regarding Hope's line is not good. They tell him that although his designs are excellent, the numbers aren't up to par. Zend argues that they have been making every effort to improve the situation. When Hope and Carter show there, Steffi gives them an update on the discussion. Some of the buyers have begun to bail, Zend informs them. This time, Steffi doesn't believe they have an option. I believe we need to reduce the funding or eliminate it entirely. Carter cuts Hope off as she starts to object. He wants to adopt a different perspective and go past this. To ensure that Forrester's future is greater than they could have ever imagined, they must think creatively, that is, if they will listen to him. What are you suggesting? Ridge says. Steffi assures Carter that he always understands her feelings over the jewelry line's relaunch and cautions that no amount of showmanship will improve the perception of hope for the future. Ivy and the jewelry line, according to Carter, are only a minor component of his larger strategy. This is not a whim, he has been planning it for months. Ridge shrugs and says, go on. Carter intends to bring the business under a luxury canopy by growing it through mergers and acquisitions. Spirits, leather items, fragrances, the possibilities are endless. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. He encourages them to think broadly rather than telling Ivy not to or interrupting Hope. They can accomplish it today. Sheila's unsettling plan, Carter's job threat, and bridge fight. Here are the spoilers for the week of October 28, 2024, on The Bold and the Beautiful. Fans should anticipate that Carter Walton's employment will be seriously threatened next week. Emergence of the Beautiful and the Bold Brooke Logan and Ridge Forrester are apart. Sheila Carter Sharp, meanwhile, devises a frightening Halloween plan. Find out what will happen in the upcoming episode of the CBS soap opera by reading on. Spoilers for the Bold and the Beautiful, Carter Walton's Job in Danger According to BNB spoilers for the week of October 28, Carter's employment is in doubt. Forrester Creations couldn't afford to lose Carter, Steffi Forrester Finnegan cautioned Hope Logan just last week. BNB Early Week Spoilers, Bridge Battle, Sheila's Unsettling Plan, and Carter's Job Jeopardy, October 28 to November 1. Steffi is furious with Carter this week for being so pushy regarding Ivy Forrester's jewelry company and hope for the future. Carter assured Electra Forrester and Ivy that he would not give up. But Steffi told Carter he was on very thin ice after pitching Ivy. After venting to Brooke Logan, Steffi eventually told Ridge Forrester about it. Bridge B&B Spoilers Fight Ridge and Brooke will engage in combat the week of October 28. It's possible that Ridge and Brooke have somewhat different opinions about Carter. Because Carter stood up for hope, Brooke seemed to be praising him. But after learning about Ivy and Electra, Ridge and Steffi might be a little worried. Everyone will then have to choose a side when Ivy enlists Eric Forrester. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful, Sheila Carter Sharp's unsettling plan. According to previews for the week of October 28 on the bold and the beautiful, Deacon Sharp will express gratitude to Carter for defending hope. It will be Halloween before Carter visits Ayel Giardino. At the restaurant, Carter will spot Sheila wearing a witch costume for Halloween. Additionally, it appears that Will Spencer and Electra are much in love. But might Electra be hiding something? Despite Electra's seeming sweetness, every soap opera character has a darker side. 
Will, who appears to be a decent young man with a touch of defiance, is another. Is Electra truly prepared to welcome Bill Spencer's son? Additionally, it has been a while since fans last saw Penelope Poppy Nozawa. Will we get an update on Luna Nozawa's whereabouts when Poppy makes her comeback? Steffi vents to Ridge, Eric is concerned, and Ivy leaks. Here are the spoilers for Thursday, October 24, 2024's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful. Fans may anticipate Ivy Forrester and Eric Forrester talking about the jewelry line in tomorrow's program. Steffi Forrester Finnegan rants to Ridge Forrester about Carter Walton over at Forrester Creations. Find out what will happen in the upcoming episode of the CBS soap opera by reading on. According to Thursday, October 24th BNB spoilers, Steffi met with Ivy and Electra Forrester. Forrester Creations wants to carry Ivy and Electra's jewelry collection. Steffi was caught completely off guard at the time of the meeting. Additionally, Steffi was furious with Carter for raising Electra and Ivy's expectations. Above all, Steffi disliked them taking advantage of her feelings. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful, Steffi is once again giving Brooke and Ridge trouble. Carter told Electra and Ivy that he would figure out a way to win them over. Carter believes that Steffi's personal problems are influencing her work decisions. Ivy will go discuss the Steffi matter with Eric. Ivy and Electra will visit the Forrester home on Thursday, October 24, to see Eric. Naturally, Eric will be ecstatic to see Ivy once more. However, it's unclear if Eric and Electra have ever met. Ivy will bring up Steffi's rejection when she speaks with Eric. Ivy might also point out that Steffi had serious problems with Brooke Logan and Hope Logan. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful, Steffi vents to Ridge, Eric worries, and Ivy leaks. Vents, Steffi Forrester Finnegan. According to Thursday, October 24, spoilers for the bold and the beautiful, Steffi and Ridge will talk business. Steffi will let Ridge know that Carter deceived her by having Electra and Ivy. Additionally, Steffi will inform her father that she has severe doubts about Carter's capacity to make wise choices in his role as COO. Carter and Ridge had been friends for a long time, of course. Does Ridge share Steffi's perception, then? Ridge will attempt to resolve the problems between Carter and himself on Thursday, October 24. Recently, Ridge had to tell Steffi that hope for the future is more important than business. Accordingly, Ridge may get worried about Steffi or believe the COO is acting inappropriately, depending on what Carter says. Anyway, this might become a war of Forrester creations. Carter Walton has long been a trusted and respected figure at Forrester Creations, known for his steady professionalism, integrity, and loyalty. However, in recent months, the character once viewed as the company's rock has found himself at the center of intense personal drama, which has begun spilling over into his professional life, leading to unexpected chaos at the fashion house. As his relationships grow more complicated, Carter's decisions are becoming increasingly unpredictable, creating rifts in the company's leadership and sending shockwaves through Forrester creations. Now, his once stable presence seems to be the very source of growing instability in the company, with Carter's judgment questioned, alliances shifting, and long-standing dynamics on the verge of collapse. One of the key catalysts behind Carter's newfound turmoil is his complicated relationship with Hope Logan. As the two have grown closer, their connection has blurred the lines between personal and professional, causing a stir among their colleagues and leading to whispered conversations in the office corridors. What was once a workplace built on creative vision and mutual respect has become a breeding ground for jealousy, tension, and suspicion. Steffi Forrester, a force to be reckoned with at the company, has made no secret of her disapproval of the budding relationship between Hope and Carter. To Steffi, their involvement is not only unprofessional but also a direct threat to the carefully curated balance of power within Forrester creations. Steffi, who has always viewed Hope with a certain level of rivalry, sees Carter's growing influence over Hope as a disruption. Steffi's concerns aren't just personal, they're deeply rooted in the potential fallout for Hope for the future, HFTF, the division of the company that Hope leads. If Carter's decisions and emotions are clouded by his personal connection to Hope, Steffi fears that it could lead to poor choices that may jeopardize the future of the entire line. These fears have driven a wedge between Carter and Steffi, with both parties now at odds over the direction of HFTF and the company as a whole.
As the conflict intensifies, it's clear that Carter's role at Forrester Creations is under fire, and Steffi is determined to regain control. Adding to the chaos is the sudden return of Ivy Forrester, a former jewelry designer for the company who brings her own set of challenges. With Ivy back in the mix, old wounds are reopened, and alliances are tested. Ivy, who has her own complicated history with both Carter and Steffi, is no stranger to the competitive world of fashion. Her return throws another variable into an already combustible situation. Carter, seeking to regain his footing amidst the growing conflict with Steffi, turns to Ivy for support and even goes as far as to invite her to pitch a new jewelry line at Forrester Creations. However, this move only serves to deepen the divide between him and Steffi, as Steffi feels that Carter is overstepping his boundaries and undermining her authority. Steffi's reaction to Ivy's involvement is swift and unforgiving. She feels blindsided by Carter's decision and accuses him of making unilateral moves that threaten to destabilize the company. For Steffi, this isn't just about business, it's personal. She feels that Carter is challenging her leadership and making power plays that she cannot afford to ignore. Steffi, who has always been fiercely protective of her family's legacy, sees Carter's actions as a direct threat to the future of Forrester Creations. This tension between them escalates into a full-blown corporate battle, with Steffi and Carter locking horns over control of the company's creative direction. As the situation spirals, other members of the Forrester family are forced to take sides. Ridge Forrester, who has always had a close relationship with Carter, is caught in the middle of the conflict. Ridge values Carter's loyalty and contributions to the company but can't ignore the fact that Carter's personal life is causing unrest. Brooke Logan, who has her own complicated history with both Ridge and Steffi, sees an opportunity to use the conflict to her advantage. She has always been protective of Hope and feels that Steffi's war against Carter is an extension of her ongoing rivalry with her daughter. Brooke is quick to point out that Steffi's hardline stance against Carter could backfire, potentially pushing Hope to make even bolder moves that could further destabilize the company. Meanwhile, Hope finds herself trapped in the middle of the chaos. As much as she cares for Carter, she cannot ignore the fact that his actions are putting her professional reputation at risk. Hope's line, HFTF, has always been her passion project, and she's worked tirelessly to make it a success. However, with Carter's involvement causing friction with Steffi and other key players at Forrester Creations, Hope is beginning to feel the weight of the growing tensions. She must now face the difficult decision of choosing between her loyalty to Carter and protecting her career. The stakes are higher than ever, and one wrong move could cost Hope everything she's worked for. The chaos at Forrester Creations is further compounded by the fact that Carter, once known for his level-headedness, is now making increasingly impulsive decisions. His personal involvement with Hope has clouded his judgment, and his growing feud with Steffi has pushed him to make moves that are more about winning the power struggle than about what's best for the company. Carter's actions are not just causing friction with Steffi, they're also creating a ripple effect throughout the entire company. Employees are beginning to take sides, and the once cohesive team at Forrester Creations is now fractured. As the tension builds, it's clear that something must give. Carter's position at Forrester Creations is becoming increasingly precarious, and his once strong alliances are crumbling. The company, which has weathered countless scandals and power struggles in the past, is now facing one of its most serious internal conflicts. The question now is whether Carter can salvage his career and repair the damage he's caused, or if his personal and professional life will come crashing down around him. In conclusion, Carter's involvement with Hope has set off a chain reaction of chaos at Forrester Creations, and his ongoing battle with Steffi threatens to tear the company apart. As tensions rise, and alliances shift, the future of the company hangs in the balance. Carter, who was once the trusted and reliable voice of reason, now finds himself at the center of a storm that could have far-reaching consequences for everyone involved. The coming weeks will reveal whether Carter can navigate the minefield he's created or if his personal decisions will ultimately lead to his downfall at Forrester Creations. One thing is certain, the chaos caused by Carter's actions is far from over.